Hey everybody, Dan Simon, Dan Simon, YouTube channel, Dan Simon, and today guys, um, you know, I'll just jump on the bandwagon like everybody else. My review of, uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Guys, uh, how could I start this and keep it spoiler free just because I'm seeing the movie now, but a lot of you have not seen, still haven't seen the movie. A lot of people have, so let's just put it this way. If you have seen the movie, keep it semi spoiler free. If you want to say something about like the ending of the movie, we'll put it that way. You can't, but where it make it where it'll make the people like want to go see the movie. <laughs> so, uh, let's see the movie. Uh, I'll kind of do a little bit of a plot of the movie. Well, the movie starts out, you see a guy driving a truck, heading back to a farm. And something happens at the farm with the guy. Then you see the family, the Spangler family, um, getting evicted, and then they end up going to the farm. They, uh, find out, um, they go and see what the grandfather's farm's like, and they figure out some stuff, and the girl was, uh, pretty, um, interesting, who played the, the granddaughter of Mr. Spangler, yeah, and a lot of good stuff comes, happens, she you know, you, if you've seen the trailer, she, she has the proton pack. She has the PKA meter. Um, yeah. But, uh, uh, a lot of good stuff happens. You know, you see the old Ecto-1 driving around. They got that back up and running. And, yeah, um, Paul Brad's character is, uh, I guess he's the, scientist or geothermist or whatever he is but he's just kind of like the summer school teacher too pretty cool um that kid podcast he's he's basically the comic he's kind of like the comic relief of the movie or let's just put it this way i think he's like basically the new ray but um Yeah, they uh, get in trouble for busting ghosts. Um, it's it's interesting. Um, like I'm trying to keep this spoiler free for you guys. Um, if you haven't seen the movie, see, I'm seeing the movie and I can't wait to see it come out on Blu-ray. Because I know there's a lot of questions that won't be answered in the Blu-ray. But they get in trouble. They end up getting out of trouble and and uh bunch of other stuff happens and um when you get closer and closer to the movie there's a lot of plot points in the movie that references the first movie the original 84 Ghostbusters um what else What else can I say? Um, I'm trying to think. Like, I'm trying to... Like, I don't want to give away the movie, the whole plot and stuff, but... Uh, the ending. Let's just go ahead and talk about the ending. To kind of keep this video short and sweet. But, um... Yeah. The ending is a very good. That's the best... The best part of the movie has to be the ending. And what will make you cry will be the ending. Because I was like this and the whole movie was like, mm, they got me. They got me good. Uh, damn it. They got me. <laughs> but I felt like it. Seriously, I had a few 
And I was rubbing my eyes. I was like, I ain't gonna cry. I am not gonna cry. It's like a, it's like, come on, macho and the machoism in me. Didn't make me do it, but it did make me share the tear. But yeah. Then uh the post credit scenes are interesting. I'll just put this. Sigourney Weaver's in it, but she's in the post credit scene, so maybe it's setting up for like a future movie. And then the last post credit scene, Andrew, they all the credits are done. If you've seen this on YouTube by now, you see Winston and Janine talking. But I think what they're doing is setting you up for another movie. So, they probably set through that in there because just depending what this movie did and how many times it's been delayed. It's been delayed, what, like four times and we finally get to see it. I wish it did come out in the summer of 2020 because I was going to see it anyways. <laughs> I probably would go into the drive-in movies to see this one because that would been kind of cool. Go watch a Ghostbusters movie in the drive-in movie theater, but, you know, drive-in movies. But, you know, being November and it's cold out, nah. Now, if it was like in Florida or something, like they had drive-in movies, yeah, I would probably go to the drive-in movies if it was in Florida or, you know, some more warmer. But, yeah. My, my, uh, my, uh, reaction of this movie, two thumbs up. Probably one of the best Ghostbusters movies I've seen in a while. It's different, but it continue. It's like you take 84 Ghostbusters and put it in modern times, you know, like modern day. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like modern day Ghostbusters, but, you know, you're watching the old original 84 film. Ghostbusters. Um, I really think if you haven't seen it by now, go see it. Because I see them definitely, definitely I see a sequel coming. Because, you know, you, you fall in love with these new characters and you kind of want to know what's going to happen to these new characters. Where are they going to go? You know, like, are they going back to New York City? Or are they going to end up back at the firehouse? You know, Ghostbusters will always, that firehouse in New York City will always be part of Ghostbusters lore. You know what I'm saying, guys? But, yeah. It's a very, very good movie. And, um, I think... I see a sequel. I do really do see a sequel coming. And, uh, yeah. It's going to be very good. I think, uh, Jason Reitman doesn't direct it. I think he will be the one who directs it. Because I think if he directs it, it keeps the vision going. But, yep. Go see the movie, guys. Like I always say, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. And, uh, like I said, comment below if you've seen it. And if you haven't, go see it. It's worth, it's worth this wait. <laughs> it definitely is. I, could, I would watch it again, definitely. It'll be one of those, you know, you're going to turn on TV, and you'll watch it. Or when, it, you know, it comes out on TV and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, definitely. Definitely go see it. And before I end this video, much different than that 2016 Ghostbusters film, which I thought was interesting and creative, but... <laughs> It wasn't like the original Ghostbusters. I'll put it that way. This is basically the sequel to the original Ghostbusters movie from 84. 
I ran along long enough. Like, share, and subscribe. Raise the cults. We're close.